Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about RLC circuits when they're in parallel configurations. But we know how to deal with an RLC circuit when it's in its series configuration, which you can watch that video here if you haven't. So when it's in parallel, it's slightly different. So you've got the R, you've got the L, and you've got the C. So one thing we know is that when we're dealing with parallel circuits, we know that the voltage across each branch is exactly the same, right? We know that. What we also know is that the current leaving the voltage source is going is being divided into each of these branches so what that means is the way that we have to analyze the circuit is slightly different so for us to calculate the total current coming out of the circuit we need to find the individual current in each branch first we do that just using i the current is equal to the voltage applied across it which we know is common across all the branches dividing by the impedance of or reactance of each individual element. So the resistor one's the easiest, the impedance is just its value. To find the current for the inductor, it's gonna be the voltage applied by JXL, and find the current for the capacitor, then it's gonna be the voltage applied over minus JXC. So then once we've got that, then we find the total current, I total, and that's gonna be IR, plus IL plus IC. So it's still just as simple as the series circuit. It's just gonna involve a little bit of maths. For example, we're gonna to have to get the currents in their polar form, convert them to rectangular form to add them together, and then convert back to its polar form. So you're gonna to need to make sure that you're solid than your complex numbers. But other than that, it's fairly straightforward. In the next video, we'll do an actual example together. See you then.